I'm going to install this UVC light, um, try to keep crud from growing on my new uh, air conditioning uh, condensing coil. Right there is a direction, say, above the AC coil like that. Uh, this particular kit, this BioShield kit, comes with pretty much everything you need. Uh, there's a mounting plate if you need it. There's uh, the bulb. It actually comes with a hole saw, too. Um, so all the pieces, parts, there's not a whole lot to this thing, but you do need something to plug it into. There's a little transformer. Uh, I like this unit because you can plug it in. You don't have to hardwire it. This one will stay on all the time, uh, which will keep crud from growing while it's off. Um, this system has a humidifier. There's my outlet. Um, and I'm the AC coil. There's the new air conditioner. And the A coil sits right about like that in there. So um, I'm going to mount it right above that, about eight inches or so. Um, I'm going to try to get that UV light to hit that. Uh, humidifier too because I was having some mold issues with that as well um, so I mounted a little power strip up there um, to plug these things into and right there's where my furnace uh, actually plugs into that so um, I got everything unplugged right now the uh, humidifier doesn't run uh, in the summertime but you can see where there's a little bit of mold and bacteria growing on this thing I'm going to clean this off real good uh, and when I reinstall it, um, I can check it next year. I got a brand new filter there, but there's still a bunch of crud in here. Um, you can see that's accumulated, um, you know, in and around that filter. Um, I think it's more from the humidifier than the air conditioner, but nonetheless, see there's some on the inside of the ductwork there. You can see the new coil. I'm uh, going to try to keep this thing looking new. There's shouldn't be anything growing in here because like I said it's brand new so I'm uh, gonna try to keep it that way um, put this UV light in here it's supposed to kill bacteria uh, mold it's also supposed to help clean the air as well uh, it's gonna sit right about there it's got a 17 inch bulb on it so it'll go the pretty much the distance of the duct work there um, it's super easy it comes with this little template here for the whole saw I got that located it's like a big sticker and then it has a little log there for when it was installed and when you changed the uh the bulb and there's bulb information in on there and how to you know how to take it out and whatnot so uh after you drill the hole uh this bracket goes in uh next it got, has uh three mounting holes and it comes with um some self-tapping stainless screws uh, I think three of those. Uh, don't crank them in there too far. You'll strip it. And then after you mount that, this thing goes in next. The bulb actually uh, goes into this uh, socket um, thing here. You're going to take that little cap off. Then the bulb pushes in there, the four-pronged bulb. And then that cap goes over top of the bulb and squeezes down to hold it in place. Um, I try not to touch the bulb with my bare hands. Um, I've heard talk that it you know it might shorten the length of the bulb i'm not sure so i went ahead and made sure i didn't touch it but uh and then got that screwed on tight and then when you put it in the unit obviously be careful this thing you got to pull that little set set thing out uh push it in there about just a partial turn uh to seat that thing and then that clip you push that back in so it, it can't fall out of there or whatever so um pretty easy and then all you got to do is hook up the plug to it uh give that it's got those pins so you gotta push it on the pins and give it a little turn uh to make the connection and then uh neaten up your wires and plug it in so basically that's how it looks uh, inside the unit and hopefully that's going to take care of my problems with uh my old one had some mold growing on it and whatnot and we have some allergies in the house but uh, I cleaned up that humidifier real good, so next year I'll check this thing and see if it's uh, moldy or dirty. It has that little uh, clear plastic so you can tell if the, the bulb is on or not. So, like I said, this thing will stay plugged in all the time. Um, and next year I'll check it uh, when I change this bulb and see if anything's growing in there. So if you want to check back with me about a year from uh, whenever this video is posted, then... Uh, 
I can give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down, but uh, hopefully that works. Hope that helps.